now is David Pierce, the author of the Bewitched History book, which is what a wonderful book, and it has a long title with it too. Yeah. Can you read the title for us? Yes, it's the Omnidirectional, Three-Dimensional Vectoring Paper Printed Omnibus for Bewitched Analysis, aka the Bewitched History book. And it truly is an omnibus. <laughs> I mean, oh my God, it's an encyclopedia. The first time I saw it, I, I initially thought it was going to be like maybe 200 pages. I was writing something. It's a normal book. Normal book. Because I've been reading your your posts on Harvey's Bazaar website, and you know everybody reads them, I think, and everybody's impressed with your writing, with your. With, and I think what happened is somebody approached you and said, "Why don't you put them together in a book?" Right? This yeah, there were several. Happened. Like specifically, I remember like Susan Hauser that goes by Marine on the board, and she said that she wanted them to be in a book. And several people agreed with her over the years, and I never thought I would do it because I didn't know how to publish a book. So you had to have an agent and contracts and all this, and I didn't want to deal with it. Mm -hmm. And so um, the reason that I pursued it was because I'm a big fan of Paula Abdul, former judge on American Idol and Pop Princess. And she um, challenged all of her fans to uh, set take a goal that we had set that we thought was unattainable and work it till you just couldn't work it anymore. Amazing. And so I decided to do that and I had read uh, Charles Tranberg's awesome biography about Agnes Moorhead from Bear Manor Media. It truly is that kind of awesome, right? It, it, yeah. Very good. And then also uh, when I met Ron Masak at the Bewitch Fanfare in 2010, his book had come out from Bear Manor. So I decided, well, it would be a good fit, so I'll ask them, and so I submitted the first chapter, which is the first season, to them. And they said, yeah, let's do this. So the book is about what? If, if people ask you exactly to summarize the concept of the book, how... It's, it's, my, uh, it's my telling of each episode in my own words, and it also is my own review of each episode, because I've watched them countless times. Um, and I also incorporate any trivia and um, from the show and any trivia from what was going on in the world at the time because Bewitch started filming or went into production the day that Kennedy was shot. And there was many other things that happened like Bobby Kennedy was killed, Martin Luther King was, the race riots, the Vietnam War, just landing countless. The moon, we found out yesterday, of course. Oh yeah, the landing on the moon. Yeah. yeah. Tons of things. So. I think all of the, and a lot of the stuff that was happening was bad, and so Bewitched offered a place where everybody could escape because you got the beautiful Samantha, um, and Darren having a great office job that every American male wanted, and he had a beautiful wife, and even more so, she could do magic. She didn't have to lift a finger, she could just twitch her nose and get her house cleaned. <laughs> and did you find any tricks about twitching the nose? How, how did some, I mean, I know I've seen a video of you twitching your nose, and you actually do twitch it. So, like, I, me. <laughs> even better than that, if I may say so. <laughs> yeah, I got tricked into that when we were at the House of Seven Gables yeah. in 20, or yeah, 2006. Yeah. The, I think my, the way that I figured out how to do it is you imagine yourself swishing water in your mouth. And so I'll try to do it now. This is terrible, but... <laughs> Wow, that's amazing. <laughs> <laughs> you really have that ability. That's great. That's wonderful. Yeah. yeah. Uh, and, and so the book uh, doesn't go beyond the year 1972, basically. Or, uh, you, go, you cover from the production date, which is 1963, I would imagine, uh, to the airing, airing of Bewitched, 1964, and then into 1972, right? Right. I, it doesn't I, go beyond The that. preface starts in the early 60s and kind of talks about what was on television at the time and... Um, just sets up what was going on, like Mary Poppins was released that summer of 64, um, and Agnes Moorhead and her son Sean were there at the premiere, and Disney, I think Disney figures a lot into Bewitched because Liz wanted to be an animator for Disney, and there's a lot of magic in Disney and a lot of magic in Bewitched, so, they're, so I included Mary Poppins in there and I reference it quite a lot in the rest of the book, um, because Bewitched, like Mary Poppins, is practically perfect in every way. <laughs> And this book was published by Bear Manor. Tell me how you approached Bear Manor. Or I, uh, I wrote up the, I gathered all the information I had from the first season and I submitted it to them and I said, I think that this would be a great part of your catalog because it fits into the classic television realm and um, Bewitch is really, um, it remains popular all the time. And so they submitted it, or I, they uh, had an unknown Bewitch fan read it. And they really liked it, and they said that I had, they would cut it down a lot. 
And so I asked everybody on harpiesbazaar.com that were originally reading it, what would you cut out of this, if anything? And everybody said, oh, you should add more. And so I did. <laughs> and so it originally ended up being over a thousand pages, and I had to whittle it. I had to whittle wow. 300 pages off of it. That's so, the other book. You could, uh, yeah, I could. I mean, I could do like the extensive. Yeah. <laughs> what? Did, so you like Paula Abdul? You could write a book about Paula Abdul. I, mean, <laughs> I wish that I could write a book about her. Have, have you have you met her in person? Have yeah, you? I met Paula um, November 7, 2004. That's great. That's yeah, great. and I I sent her a copy of the book. Her cousin Tara owns uh, a shop called Tweak 99, which is kind of a quirky gifts kind of shop in Los Angeles and so I knew her on Twitter and I asked her I told her about the book and how Paula inspired it um, and she got me an address to send it to her and um, Paula's 50th birthday was just this year so I sent it to her as a birthday gift mm -hmm. and then kind of um, every so often would ask her did you get the book did you get the book and she has over two million fans on Twitter so mm -hmm. it's really rare but she follows me on Twitter which means that that's she can instant me or uh, private message. Oh, I remember you post on Facebook. Like, <laughs> like, oh my yes. God, that's great. Yeah, she yeah. she sent me a message. Says I got the book and I'm so yeah. proud of you and I'm so sorry it took so oh, long. Oh, how wonderful! <laughs> yeah, that's great. And Erin Murphy that played Tabitha on Bewitched. Um, I sent it to her for her birthday, which was in June, and I also sent it to Bernard Fox, Doctor Bombay. I sent it to him for his birthday in May, and. I have yet to get a picture of any of those three celebrities with my oh, book. No. Oh. So if they ever see this, was, I'm was on it. it. Yeah, was it through their <laughs> agent? You no, it was through them. them. I know the uh, Bernard's daughter. Yeah. And so I sent it to That's his Amanda, house. Amanda Fox. Uh, Amanda Fox, Amanda yeah. Fox, yeah. And then I, I follow Erin on Twitter and I asked her if I could send it to her. And she followed me for a minute and gave me your address. And she left. then she unfollowed me, <laughs> which is okay. Yeah. So, yeah, but it's oh, cool knowing, and the book's gone all over the world, not just the celebrities. There's all the people in Oz, tons of fans in Australia. So I spent much money sending it to them. <laughs> awesome, awesome book. I mean, I've been, I, I wanted to buy a copy immediately when it came out from you. I knew you ran out of copies. Yeah. And uh, when I got my copy, I couldn't wait to read it. And I got busy with work, so I started reading it at night, chapter by chapter. I started going through pages, you know. Little bit here, and I'm still like not even here yet. I'm, I'm still, like page one seventy or something yeah. like that. But I will get, I will get to finish it. it truly, it's a great book. Thank it you. Truly, is well written, Thanks. and it's published by Bear Manor, folks. And you can get it on Amazon.com and BearManor.com. Is it? Yeah, BearManorMedia.com or even BarnesandNoble.com. Great. Well, David Pierce, thank you very much for joining us. Thanks, Peter. Appreciate it.